know, you, know, boom, you, know you know the people I used to hate because my brother was one of these people. Like yo, I gotta practice the game ball. before we play. Like we get the game day of. He's like, I need like an hour to practice. No, no fire the game up <laughs> and, we play and let's play. Oh. What street franchise? So like NBA Street, NFL Street, um, MLB MLB Street didn't exist, but like the bigs, things like that. NFL what franchise? of those should have survived and kept on going and maybe released on a yearly basis, in your opinion. Because they don't make those anymore. I think it's either NBA Street or NFL Blitz. But you got to pick. I can't have one of those. Two. You got to pick I gotta out have one. one of those. So, so. NBA Street. I don't think so, yeah. I pick NBA Street. That game's sick. Yeah, I'd have to go NBA Street, too. Uh, All right, but let, for NBA Street because it's three volumes of that. Let's pick. We're, we'll go even deeper and pick one out of the three. I I just say Street, and I go with the first one because I, I just love the story mode on the first one. I mean, obviously nowadays games aren't geared towards uh, story modes or whatever. Like it's mostly online and like however much that you could buy. But as far as the story mode on that one, I love that. And to be able to go through like a game in a story mode where like I'm picking up. I don't know, Kyrie Irving on my team when I beat him at the park in like a three on three or something. Like, I don't know. I feel like that'd be a really dope storyline. But a close second, did you, you said something about baseball, right? Yeah. So, like the bigs. The, the base, it wasn't the bigs. The they, had a, guard, they had the an MLB. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they, they no, had, they had was a different a, game. I'm, I'm forgetting the name of the game. There was an MLB could, Blitz. Yeah. There was you an could, MLB You could punch people. Like, you could just be <laughs> running around the bases and punching people. I remember you, that. Did you see that shit? But that's why I referenced the bigs because oh, that's the only one that I yeah. remember. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that, any of those franchises where it was, you know, still the same game for the most part, but just taken to a whole nother level where yeah. like rules could be broken. I think I think Blitz is the the MLB one is a close second because it would have been a way to keep the MLB games fun. I don't feel yeah, like they're boring as hell. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like those like baseball is boring. I feel like soccer is fun, hockey is fun uh, as Saturday. a game, but but MLB is boring as hell. You see, you yeah, see I think it does, it does cater to the fan. <laughs> That's what I'm too. saying. That yeah, it got yeah. fun. The moment you knock somebody out in the game, it's fun. Crazy. I mean, yeah. I feel like baseball's changed now. They added like the pitch clock and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. They like the game goes a lot quicker I think now. The clock helps a lot, big time. And I think this speeds up the game and now it makes it like you know a little more fun to watch. But those games are still boring as well. I mean. It's, I'm talking about it's the video a, games. It's a good about, spectator oh, sport, yeah. especially if you're just barely getting into sports in general, because it's slow, it's easy to follow, the rules make sense. Yes, there's a lot of specifics once you get down to the nitty gritty, but like overall as a spectator sport, I think it's still you know very fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah, but just in the game mm -hmm. version of shit, it's it's horrible. I don't know. Or I don't know game, anybody who, who legitimately plays ML like some people don't play basketball or watch basketball but they'll play 2k some people don't i don't know i like myro super strikers i was on that shit for a minute super strikers what's that That's i mean not super one. strikers uh fuck I'm, I'm trying to think of the base they have a they don't have they have super strikers for soccer <clears throat> and then they had was it just mario baseball i don't think it was called mario baseball but it's i gotta baseball. look it up but they had to put it in mario form for it to be entertaining for yeah you. like you wasn't going with like fucking tim anderson and yeah going i'm not baseball. playing MLB yeah no the after, show, after you know? like i got like oh, the no, show yeah. mlb the show five or some <laughs> shit and then shit. I, I i haven't played the game since my younger brother used to try to convince me that that shit was fun because he played baseball in real life i'm like yo there's nothing fun about this that shit sucks well i guess yeah i mean for the people that that do be, play baseball he don't play it no more but he's, he still loves baseball but he does not play that he does not play those type of games anymore he's mad and Games are even those games suck nowadays they do yeah well, i mean i can't watch football but people love football so they still try to like push yeah. through it but realistically they don't i mean madden hasn't been good in ages like mlb's online gaming community is horrible they don't have one it's non-existent yeah that's true there's no community for that you don't see people you don't see clips of people playing mlb and getting any type of views but that is true you know i, I feel like it's harder to to make Make yourself to be a creator in, in MLB. Yeah, but cool. going back to to Angel before we get too far far ahead of ourselves, uh, you wanted to pick in between NBA Street or N uh, NFL Blitz. So you got to pick out of yeah, I pick the, Street. All right. So yeah. besides Volume One, because Mo pick Volume One, which one are you picking? Two or three? Which one was the one with the guy with the afro on the front? <laughs> <It> was <two. laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was two. I that think three two. had like Baron Davis on it. Or yeah. yeah, I want two. That one's fire. 
Yeah, that, that's, that's uh, the cool. the third one was mainly like a Beastie Boys yeah, type yeah. beat. It was kind of like how uh, what was that two K with fucking Jay Z on it? Was it twelve? Oh, yeah, it was like produced by Jay Z. I had that one. That shit Fuck, I forget that, what 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 year that is. Was that the one with Michael Jordan on the cover? No, that, that was, was 11. eleven. No, he was on he's on twelve and eleven. But the the big the the first one when he like came back because I think twelve was, was Spike Lee, right? Yeah. yeah, it was like it's di- the story mode's directed yeah, by Spike was, Lee, and it was, it was the 13, most mid then. shit you've ever seen. Well, it huh? was thirteen, the one that had Jay Z. He might be right. The one with Jay Z had KD, Steph, yeah, and AD all, on the cover. Because that's the only other two K. I had eleven, and I had thirteen. Oh, we're gonna have to ask Jamie on that one. <laughs> um, it's that one for sure. That one for sure. Yeah, thirteen. Because if it wasn't the Michael Jordan cover, then it was it was thirteen. Uh ah. But you're 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 locked in on volume two. Yeah, volume two. All right, Mar- or Mirage, you got paid. So my thing is, I barely even played video games growing up. But I mean, wait, I wait, 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 wait. So what y'all do as kids? We played video. I mean, do I mean we're like, like all the kinds of the all the kinds of things I thought. That's not even me though. Here. At, 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 at X crib, what y'all doing? No, I feel like back in the day we were playing a lot of like racing games back in the day. Okay, so y'all more of a racing family. What? Yeah, that was our thing. What? Racing okay, but all right, though. What were y'all playing? Grand, like, Grand Turismo. Turismo? Grand Turismo. No. I, what about the ones? Uh, all right, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll give us we'll, since like you can consider that's, racing that's a sport. sport. Yeah. yeah. Let, let's say like Need for Speed is like the street version of that, or fucking it's, you know, it's another what, one. What with... other What other racing games would be considered kind of like an off the wall version? But of like really a Forza or yeah, a Gran Turismo, because for Gran Turismo and Forza usually try to like have somewhat realistic aspects to their game. Yeah, but they didn't discontinue it. Like I had yeah. the newest Need for Speed, like the one with ASAP Rocky. They still make them. Yeah. Do, what about Burnout? Burnout was the one where it was kind of like an NFL. It was like a street version. Yeah, because you were like still Need for Speed, like the one that I had. No, no, no but like one, Burnout. Burnout's a different series. Burnout is a different. It, it was it, Burnout. Yeah, it was still street racing. You still running from the cops and you still doing all. I know, but it's not Need that, for Speed. But there was also LA Rush. Oh. Yeah, which was big. There was a thing, a game called Smugglers Run back in the day on like the PS. I remember and the PS2. Midnight Club. Midnight Club, that was amazing. Yeah, Raj knows all the racing games. Yeah, I mean, if I I mean that's what we grew up. I got so yeah. So you played. grew up more on racing games. So yeah. if you had to pick a street version, so like Midnight Club, one of those games outside of Forza and Gran Turismo, or any other racing game that you would consider to be more on the real realistic side, what would you pick? And I why? think. I probably played L.A. Rush the most. L.A. Rush? I've never yeah. heard of that game. Okay. You have, you're going to have to describe that. How do I even explain it? I mean... So what what console did it come out, out on? I think we played it on PlayStation. PlayStation 2, 3, I four. think it was on 2. Okay, so it's an older game. Yeah. Damn. Hey, Mirage. I'm not going to lie to you, Mirage. I'm looking at this game right now. I've never seen this game in my entire life. Dude, that's what we were who, playing who back in the pre- day. Produced by Midway Studios. So it's not like it's a... A no-name a, company. No, no-name company producing this. And they made a... They, they, they make two of them? Was that... So, so it's a series. No, it's one. I think it's okay, just, so it's just one. one. It's just so what's the objective of the game? Is it like Crazy Taxi or are you just racing other people? Crazy I think you're like taxi. racing other people and stuff like that in there. Okay, yeah. so it's it's genuinely a racing game. What kind of progression are you like? Is it like kind of like Need for Speed Underground, where you like got upgrades or shit, yeah, or is yeah. it just like you unlock cars as you go? No, I think you get like upgrades and stuff like that. You unlock cars and stuff like that as well. But it's not like Gran Turismo or Forza, where it's like you're just straight up track. just doing you know track races. Well, Forza go kind of not track anymore. Like they have some, yeah. But they do but like. I know Gran Turismo still. Yeah, Gran Turismo is strict. Yeah. 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 The new Need for Speed is. It's like it's also based in Chicago. Like. Yeah. yeah I did the only see that. the only building that's not there is the Sears Tower, which is kind of hmm. weird. But like you still got that Diamond Building. You still got the John Hancock Building. Hmm. Um, and you just racing in the streets of Chicago. That's, that's sick. That's pretty. Dope. I got it for like twenty bucks. It was five. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we got our answers locked in. But, for me. Why are you still on your phone? I'm looking up a certain racing game on the game. Well, I was gonna pick uh, NFL Blitz as my my game. Yeah, that's a good game. Um, honestly, it's gonna sound fucked up. Um, but the newest versions where they weren't licensed by the NFL anymore. So you know how the original Midway games were licensed by the NFL, so they 
you know, could use the actual teams. Yeah. And then they made one with Lawrence Taylor. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It was, it was Blitz the League. Blitz the League, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love that you one. That one was Brady fun because I, I agree. You, you didn't know these people, so you kind of had to fall in love with these other. Like, you would pick a team just because you like that team, not because you had any type of outside attachment. These are random teams or random players. Yeah. Not like some old games where they were like, it would be the the teams, but it wouldn't be the teams like like in, like NCAA games and stuff. It'd be like this isn't this player, but this is number five that looks and plays just like him type. Of yeah, shit. And, and like the funny thing was like they they actually had a pretty decent storyline. Maybe I'm you know giving it too much credit because no, I'm just not. like nostalgia. It had a pretty I grew good up with that shit. I had a lot of fun with it, and they let you do a lot of stuff in that thing. But I think one of the kind of the most interesting aspects of that was you know there's always played sports before kind of the oh hurt the star player and in that game <laughs> you, that was <laughs> yeah, you could, that was a primary objective you could put somebody that's why out. they would put that cutscene at the beginning and you know you would have that meter to build up and it was basically a guarantee injury on whoever you were tackling um so that was kind of like the the funny aspect of that and kind of what brought, kept me engaged with the game those was fights. because that you you actually had to pay attention to to what was going on to at least you know do well in the matchup. But those, I would say yeah, blitz those the league. scenes when you when you hurt people were so fired. Oh yeah, uh, fucking. Once you see those, uh, I was uh, those for the longest time I was trying to break so someone's fire, testicles because I wanted to see what that was. <laughs> they I was wanted. So I just. Fire. I was so intri- intrigued by that. I was like, I gotta I gotta bust someone's balls literally. Yeah, they were so aggressive, bro. It was like so like sick. tearing some shit, like breaking a leg, like all that. Oh yeah, and then the, <laughs> and then the little mini games after back. you got hurt, like you break oh, your yeah. leg, and then to be like, oh, you gotta snap it into place, yeah, and if you didn't snap it in. Right? Like they'd be out for the game, or maybe they'd be back in, but they'd have like fucking ten stamina loss or some bullshit like that. And the, then like, honestly, you know that game was way too in depth with some bullshit. Like oh yeah. you could take legal and then illegal drugs, and like uh, depending on how much you, it was, that was it was fun. really out there for a fucking. <laughs> I'm choosing illegal every time. Oh, I yeah. don't care. Get my guy back out on the field. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the thing was with illegal, it was like it was pre the game, so it'd be like. Your stamina would run out at fifty, like mm. or like half as half as slow, or you would build meter at such and such pace, mm. and so like it was, it was like big advantages that you would get from the game, but if you got caught, you your player would not play that game. Oh, I don't remember that part. Yeah, I'm not. I'm pretty caught. sure that's how that worked. Was that if you got caught with illegal shit, like th- those players had to sit out for that game, oh, and you, so you would get. You get fucked. Damn, I don't remember that one. So there was like a meter for like all the drugs that you were administering. It was they, they really thought that shit through. But they shot them up in in the middle of the game too, though, right? Yeah, but they that was shoot. different. That, that that's a whole separate thing. Yeah. So that's kind of like the when you break your leg, they snap it back into place. You get X amount of stamina. Same thing with the with the needle on the sideline. Okay. But there was different different drugs with the story mode that you could take for your players and give them, you know, extra bonuses. Okay. So like that was kind of the uh, you know, that part of the game. But yeah, no. Blitz the League 2. Definitely my choice. Yeah, that was that was a good pull. That was a good pull cuz I, I think most people would say just the the one with the licensing and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, completely. If you could pick season tickets Not for done. a team, it could be any team in at any point in history, and you can go to their home and away games. And if they made it to the playoffs that season and the championship run, all those games are included. You don't have to worry about travel, staying anywhere. That's all taken care of. What team are you picking and what season would you watch in its entirety? So you mean in history? In all of yeah. History? So it could be any sports league, MLB, NBA, international. Who are you picking? Mm-hmm. What season? And why are you watching it? Oh, Okay. It's actually a good one. Dude, seeing LeBron come back 3-1 would be kind of fire. But was that a good season, though? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The, like, whole... You're only doing it for the championship, right? Like, Yeah, I'm trying to see, man. Who had a good regular season and good finals? I mean, playoffs. <clears throat> I mean, the, the Bulls 72-10 run is always a good pick. I just but don't... everyone's gonna pick that because that's kind of the most memorable in recent recent term. That's what I was thinking, mm-hmm. but I was like, 
would that have been f- like okay because like, i think like the warriors with their 73 and 9 with uh, no not the 73 and 9 the, the years with kd oh, that yeah. wasn't fun to watch yeah because the, they, they, they were just smacking teams yeah. like so i feel like it had to be like a competitive and then like a great run hmm what about those houston rocket teams in Ew, the 90s? i hate it well no. oh the houston oh I, I wasn't saying the Houston Rockets right now. I'm saying 90s. Actually, that might be a good one. I'm, I might go with that second year the Rockets won because they went through some teams. They went through uh, – I did it on the, the other podcast I had or whatever. They went through all 50-win teams. All Every team they went through in the playoffs was a 50-win team, and they were a 60 that season coming off of a championship. So you, so it – it was like games really mattered for them because they were, you know, they poss- had there was possible. For, yeah, it was possible for them to still kind of jump up or they could drop back down and to finish as a six seed going into um, into the playoffs. And they weren't they didn't have home, home field advantage for anything all through the playoffs. They did not have home court advantage. So they went through. They beat the spurt. They beat um, they beat Utah. They beat they beat a lot of good Western Conference teams on the way to that chip. And then, of course, they smacked up. Uh, shacking them in the finals, but <laughs> yeah, they smacked shit out their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Shaq. But they, yeah, they had a they had a good run. That was a crazy run, dude. I'm gonna have to go with a three one comeback. You going with that season? I think so. Mainly because of the finals. Yeah, because I mean, finals, right? he made it against the seventy three and nine team. Mm-hmm. You know, like. But kind of, kind of to that, that lead up. What, what was that playoff run like? I don't. I, honestly, that's my. Only memory of that season is that three one comeback. I feel like that that was when they were like still smacking on the Raptors. Yeah, I feel like it, when they beat the Bulls with like a a, a, a past the prime Derrick Rose. I just feel like the three the three one comeback is just that to me is just too much to pass up. Like Ooh. I gotta watch that. Was it 2015, 2016? Uh I think so. Cause that's is that when the Warriors did that. I think. so. So, or was it 16, 17? It wasn't 16, 17. Because be KD st- kept playing with them after that, right? Or did he leave after that? KD came after that. Oh, yeah. he came after that. Yeah. That's insane. See, um, yeah, let me go to the team that just won 73, 73 and 9. 9. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Like, holy crap. What about you, Mirage? I'm trying to figure out either... When the Spurs won it with Kawhi. Against the Heat. Okay. That, that was a good series. That was yeah. a really fire series. I feel like series. it's like a little nostalgic. Like, Honestly, both that? those series were so fucking good. Honestly, one of my favorite finals series is those two Spurs series against the Heat. Yeah, I mean... Because they could have gone both ways. Mm-hmm. I feel like, especially, you get those, what, Tim Duncan, Juan Ginobili, Tony Parker... The old guard, yeah. The Spurs. You got your old vets on the team. With and then fucking Danny Green. <laughs> I mean, I that was just... Danny Green, the goat. I know Mo loves Danny Green. He, he loves, loves Danny, Danny Green. That guy sucks. Okay, yeah that that run for the Cleveland was ugly. They went, they swept Detroit in the first round, four zero. Swept Atlanta in the second round, who was the number one seed. <laughs> Hey, no, man. with I think they won like no Atlanta wasn't they won the number one seed that year that was the following year but they were number four uh, Cleveland swept them four zero then they got to Toronto beat Toronto in six but didn't feel like six I'm sure and then they came back three one look coming was, back three one I think to me is worth it bro you missed eight <laughs> uh, eight games was a snooze fest out of it I don't give a fuck you still you, those you eight probably, games. no you're not no, you're not going to no, those no. games <laughs> you I have am. to go through the I mean, yeah, you the entire regular season but you were asleep you yeah. were asleep watching those but, games but, oh, but, the the thing, hype. but the thing is you have to go the entire regular season like that I'm talking that. shit I'm talking mm. shit yeah get the brooms out motherfuckers you do that shit in Detroit if you want to you just want to watch the world burn you in Detroit I'm putting all my money on this shit they're sweeping them I'm going to get the brooms out motherfuckers Damn. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'd be evil as fuck there too. Yeah. Yeah. And then seeing the three one comeback, ooh, the shit I would be talking, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That'd be so insane. Dude, people would look at you insane. They'd be yeah. like, what are you fucking talking about? Come back three <laughs> one. Yeah, exactly. Actually, you know what? I think I'm changing mine. <laughs> I'm changing mine to the the year the Bucks won. 
The year the Bucks won in 2021. I was thinking about I something mean, like that. That was that is, so action packed, bro. I was thinking about it was. Like that. How many times they were literally about to be done? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Giannis was out for two games in the Eastern Conference Finals. The backups, not the backups, but the rest of the team had to pick it up for the best player in the league who was out. Didn't think he was going to play. My man comes running out for game one, and they're like, nigga, what do you mean you're playing? You, your leg almost just snapped in half. Yeah. Then they go down 0 2 in the finals. They're like, yo, it's over. CP finna get a ring. Devin Booker finna to get a ring early in his career and then they come back and and, and get these niggas four straight <laughs> four straight bro that Fuck was crazy the then all the games were close as hell like they had the Giannis block yeah, Giannis. they had the one where Devin Booker turned around right into Drew Holiday strips it goes down throws the lob to, to, to Giannis and he gets the dunk yo it was just so hype and Milwaukee 50. was on fire Giannis on dropping like more than what like 40 points a game. Who? Giannis. Yeah, Giannis was, was dropping at, 40. He was like dropping 40 was, plus points. Yeah. In the first two games, Devin Booker had two 40 point games yeah. to himself. It was it was a lot. It was a it was great basketball. Then like the seven game series with the Nets. Um, what was that? What was their first round series? I can't remember. Oh, they they swept the they swept the Heat after losing to the Heat the year prior. Go ahead. Yeah. It was good basketball, and, was, and they, they and they they had some great matchups all year long. With like the six, they had some good uh, regular season matchups with the Sixers, with the Celtics. They had a lot of good shit going on. Dude, I kind of want to. I did think about because I hate the Sun so much. Seeing the Mavs whoop their ass, <laughs> <in game laughs> just seven. for that, just, just for, for that, that game. One. Even though they they got knocked out in the next round, <laughs> just for that one game seven, just to see the Mavs <laughs> whoop their ass. That would have been insane. <laughs> well, honestly, watching from that Golden State perspective for 2015, 2016 might have been decent. Yeah. Because remember, they, mm-hmm. they came back from down 3 3-1 yeah. with uh, Oklahoma City. Yeah. And then, of course, they and got the finals and yeah. lost themselves. Yeah. So you still get to watch that finals. Yeah. But you also get to watch KD and Russ collapse. Yeah. <laughs> what was uh, that Dirk run might have been a good one. Mm-hmm. They beat, they beat the, yeah, the, I mean, the Lakers right after their 2 P. Yeah. Um, they beat OKC and Kevin Durant. I think they beat the Grizzlies, or it was either the Grizzlies or the Spurs, the other team. And then watch LeBron melt down in the finals as Dirk went to work yeah. on. Yeah, that was a decent one. That was a decent one. You gonna yeah. pick? Which I think what? You gonna pick Patriots undefeated? <laughs> Eighteen and one. Eighteen. Uh, you gonna pick that one? Yeah. Yeah. Sad even thing. though you know, they lose, even though they lose, yeah. You gotta. Yeah, I'm gonna be at that game. I'll be like. Yeah, let's go Patriots. I'm gonna put <laughs> hella money on the Giants. I was just gonna say, <laughs> yeah, <I'm> gonna <laughs> hella money on the Giants, bro. I'm gonna be rich after that game. I'm Honestly, like, if I'm that be, happens, I'm gonna be pissed off at Tom Brady. Wait, no, we can make no, bets. No. I, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be pissed off at Rod. I never said anything about bets, so you could have said you can bet. Yeah, if we don't bets, I'll you, be you, Cubs. You'll be rich after the season. <laughs> you already know the results, but that's not the important part. <laughs> I'm still, I'm gonna still be mad at Rodney Harrison until I fucking die. <laughs> he should never let that shit happen, but he did. And now we're living in the present, and they're 18 and one for fucking ever. Who's the Who's the real goat? Eli Manning, man. Eli Manning. You got to watch Eli. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch the real goat. The yeah, real I should just goat. I should just do the season tickets for the Giants, the right? Giants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck the Patriots. Because I was sitting here thinking about it, I was like, "This motherfucker for sure is gonna do the eighteen and one Patriots season." Dude, like, I that, was like, "This dude, that shit sure. was insane." He's for sure gonna go undefeated. That shit was so Bowl. insane. Like, <laughs> I remember there's so many. There was there. It was a game against the fucking Ravens, and the Ravens were fucking baller that season, and they were about to fucking lose that game. That they almost Blackout? lost it. They there was two games that were extremely close for them to lose that undefeated record in the regular season. Really? And it was against the Ravens and the Giants specifically. Yeah. And then, Eli and then, the crazily enough, <laughs> the Giants pull it off the second time. You like got that number? Yeah. Bro. They 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 were dialed in the first time. That should have been a fucking. He's a real goat. <laughs> what's it called? An epiphany. Not the phony goat. <laughs> Tom Brady. Foreshadowing for for the it. future. That they were gonna lose. That they were gonna lose. Dude, I cried so much in fifth grade because of that. I was so sad. <laughs> I felt like I was part of the team. I was. I felt like I was out there. I thought I was number twelve. <laughs> I, believe I really wanted to be number twelve. I mean, there. the fact this man was wearing an Aaron Hernandez jersey too. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact. I but still have my Aaron Hernandez you know, jersey. Yeah, it was. It was. The crazy thing. It was like a week before everything. Yeah. Right? No, it was like a month. Yeah. This guy decides. Hey. <laughs> Oh, this guy bought my jersey. I'm just going to start murdering people. <laughs> Granted, it was way beforehand, and they didn't find out way later until 
Uh, they had found the body, but I remember this guy coming. Yeah, with the I was so on. I was so hyped to wear my Aaron Hernandez jersey. So hyped. You now still, I gotta lie and be like, yeah, my last name's Hernandez. Yeah. You were still wearing <laughs> it like the for a while. Name. What? You were still wearing it for a while after all that happened. Because no one knew. No yeah. one. The, 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 yeah, it it was. A, there's a surprising amount of people that do not pay attention to anything on the news. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, especially in high school. I, like, but I feel like if they knew who he was, I, I, then they would have. No, known. I, I, I. Everyone who like watched football would would have known. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody but who like, cared about the jersey would have known. Yeah, but exactly. it might have also been like when I got the I, I fucked up on the the George Foreman grill. I thought it was two George Foremans. <laughs> I was like, I, this is a George Foreman that's got the grill, and Did then there's the boxer. Yeah, yeah I, remember, I, know, I remember y'all were like uh, asking me about it, and then I was yeah, like, "Where are you at this conversation?" And then I was like, "I have one in the basement right now." Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he did not know that George Foreman grills were <laughs> by the box. So no, that's, that's what I'm saying. Guy. That's what I'm saying. It's like, that's what I'm saying. Dumb motherfuckers <laughs> exist everywhere <laughs> in all walks of life. <laughs> Dude, I they come in all shapes and sizes. So we I were... definitely believe that there's people that think Aaron Hernandez is just a murderer. He's not a Patriots yeah. tight end. I can see that. No, but I feel like and so, like when you, when they see the jersey, they're like they don't put two and two together. Yeah, because well, yeah. they don't know he's eighty one on the Patriots. Because I think he was eighty one. I don't fucking bro. remember. <laughs> I lie. I'm fucking Mexican. I'll be like, yeah, my name's last name's Hernandez. I got one of those custom jerseys. <laughs> yeah, I got one of those custom jerseys from China. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but with Aaron, Aaron Hernandez, I think yeah, it was on the news. Only some people knew. But I feel like when the Netflix series on it came out. Way that's when oh, it blew yeah. Up. yeah that's when everybody found out about it yeah dude i remember that year <laughs> that was like eighth grade or something yeah we were me and my cousins were doing a fantasy football league and who drafted my, aaron hernandez that we, year <laughs> we convinced one of my cousins to draft aaron hernandez <laughs> he was still on the board because yeah no no the fucked up part is the, they always fuck up that roster bro yeah. they be having people that are like in jail dead like can't even play the game of football on that list because I remember one year fantasy football it was me my neighbors and my brother all had a league together and one of my neighbors is the type of person that will not take anything serious to the point where it's like it, it's insane like he'll like he'll go to to certain lengths to just shit on everything mm-hmm. And so most of his roster, so like this was when Ray Rice had joke. just like <laughs> gotten suspended for, or yeah, he got suspended for the entire season, yeah. like straight off the bat. First person off the board, Ray he had the first draft pick, Ray Rice. Ray Rice. Like damn, Ray Rice and right I'm pretty sure there was another guy that had like double homicide and then killed himself. <laughs> And then that was his second pick. It's like about Chris Benoit. <laughs> like, yeah, like that that draft class for him was insane. What, what was the team name? Team name had to be had to be. Coached. I don't remember the team name. I just remember <laughs> it was just a bunch of players that could not play because they were either dead in jail or they were like suspended. <laughs> the jail blazers. In the yeah, season. it was. It was a very questionable role. Yeah, we convinced her to pick Aaron Hernandez that same year. And we were like, yeah, he's yeah, super good. Like, he's, he's, he's yeah, looking so many stats. points. And <laughs> the fucked up part is, like, it'll still populate the stats from last year. So you'll think that yeah, motherfucker is great. Fire, bro. Like, I'm getting the steal. <laughs> and was, lo and behold, that guy's behind bars. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't anybody playing. ever finished a fantasy football league? I feel like over the course of the season, it just slowly just fades out. Football and nobody's is, doing it. No, I, uh, easier to finish than basketball. Basketball, yeah. I tried one. I couldn't even get through like half the season because you have to constantly change your lineup for basketball. Mm-hmm. I know you do like the. I know you do, but you do like the daily. Fantasy. The daily. I've never, I've never like done a week. season long. Yeah, this is a season long. I gave up like halfway through the season. I was like, I'm. This is too much. But I feel like I feel like for any sport, I feel like once you get to a point. Like depending on how many people you have, say say you forget for like a week or two. At that point, you're like, all right, I'm done with this shit because I'm I'm out I'm out of the running because I've missed two weeks just being busy with life. And then slowly over time, that starts to happen to more people and more people. And it's like two motherfuckers really trying in the entire league. And it's like I think football's yeah, I the easiest it, one. Yeah, I feel like it depends because yeah. sometimes it's like a week to week basis. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes it'll set it for you automatically. And next thing you know, people put in, they yeah. go off. Oh yeah. yeah. And then you better hope the other person you're versing that week didn't set the lineup or you know whatever, <laughs> yeah. and they just didn't do well. And then next thing you know, you're up. Yeah, because like, like there's been times like in fantasy football where someone will 
you know, throw in the draft purposely, yeah. and then somehow be the best person in the yeah. league yeah. because that sounds the for worst. whatever reason they just had the right mix of players yeah. to get enough points. Right mm. And I remember during that season, you also decided to take it serious, like halfway through. <laughs> Because I think he was going up with, uh, up against his brother, and so he just wanted to beat him because he was in first. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. Some, and some... so, like, he went on the waiver wire, made some moves, and just annihilated him just because he got lucky on a few picks. <laughs> and so now you got now now he's not under undefeated anymore. So like, it, it, there's ways of getting around it. I, I don't think there's like an exact science to to fantasy football. So I don't think time will be like the great differentiator of you know between people i think it just depends on how much you're paying attention mm-hmm. right. so like yeah. if you're paying attention week to week you'll probably do, do better than someone that's actually just like actively trying to make moves because they might not even be actually like paying attention to what's going on <laughs> like if i you know was in a you know fantasy football or fantasy basketball league with you and angelo I'd get my shit rocked because I don't know anything about basketball. I want to do one, but for that reason that you guys talked about, like it's 82 games. There's yeah, a game it's, it's, every it's, other day. Yeah. It's a Tuesday. It's like, and oh, also, shit, they play tonight. Yeah. Like, And also, it's some players, they're sitting out one game. They're yeah. like, that's yeah, what, but I, injury. You that's know, why I, I feel like it would be fun, though, because you have to pick players based on all of those factors. Yeah. Availability. Yeah. Is this the type of guy who's going to sit out like Kawhi Leonard? Kawhi Leonard? No, know? hell no. I'm, I'm not, not drafting, drafting that guy. I know he's fire, but I'm not drafting I'm not drafting LeBron, LeBron or AD because yeah. they're, one, going to get hurt, yeah. and two, they're going to take games off yeah. and not play back-to-back. But so, I think that's what the, the, the magic of that is. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. have to, like... You have to so, guess well. So, like, LeBron, you would think if you just started playing, you'd be like, oh, LeBron's top five in a yeah. draft. And it's like, no, he's not. Like, he's going to be, he may be a center. I'd probably pick Lowry oh, Marketing because Lowry Marketing is going to play every game. Yeah. Utah's going to run the offense through him. You know, you got you to pick people like Julius Randle, who, yeah. like, they just care about their stats. Jalen Brunson. Yeah, you got to yeah. pick people like are extra <laughs> reliable, <laughs> that are extra reliable and yeah. they have the ball in their hands all the time. Luca. <laughs> and, get, and get, like, other little stats, like rebounds yeah. and, and stuff like that. I know Russell Westbrook, those like triple double oh, years. Dude. That motherfucker was a he cheat. Was a, he didn't miss a game. Cheat for and a every game. play started and ended with Russell Westbrook. Yep. He was a cheat code for fantasy. <laughs> that motherfucker on, on a daily fantasy. So like you get sixty thousand um on I think FanDuel or something. And he used to be like you you get to pick eight players. He used to be like uh like twelve thousand. Damn. Out of your hmm. sixty. You, get, you gotta pick eight gonna, players because he, he was just gonna, gonna get you. It. He was gonna get you sixty to seventy yeah. points. Some nights, the motherfucker gonna get you a hundred. Nikola yeah. Jokic just had a hundred, a couple hundred point fantasy games. I'm like, damn, should have taken Nikola Jokic. I'm just trying to think of what my starting five. All was. right, shut shut up, because we going to our next topic. <laughs> I'm done. Yo, right, I'm done listening to y'all listen to talk Johnson about that shit. Here. Damn. Right. Ernesto, Ernesto, Ernesto Johnson. Johnson. I'm Elevator yeah, Ernie. Real Ernie. I'm, a, I'm oh, Elevator really? Ernie, but I, except I'm pissed off all the time. <laughs> all right. What sports gaming franchise, so NBA 2K and Live are one thing. NFL, so Madden, NHL, um, and MLB. One of those franchises has to go. What you picking? MLB. Yeah, yeah, MLB. Yeah, that's NHL is fun because you can take the gloves off and fight. Absolutely, oh, could you? Yeah, yeah, bro. you can. I've never Dude, been I used to have the demo on my PS3 just so I can fight motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> I, had, I had the demo on my computer in the house, the desktop, <laughs> just so I could drop the gloves and just knock people out. <laughs> even then, even if it wasn't about the fighting, I feel like it's like NHL is, is a it's more a fun, fun game. game. Yeah, it just mm-hmm. it's way more fun. Yeah. It's it's a lot of it, the pace is really quick and stuff like that. I think, I think that's the thing. Like nobody really wants to play games where like there's a slow pace to it. Yeah, and naturally, baseball Madden. has a slow pace. I mean, Madden is not that bad, uh, uh, dude. Half the game you're just you're sitting on the button. UI. Yeah, you're, you're I mean, picking plays. Yeah, you start winning, then it gets different. <laughs> then you're like, this is the, it's the like, best game ever. Shit ever. Half the game you're doing nah. nothing. You're just yeah. looking at plays, and then you're like, oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> nah, like, bro, you go on that thing, be like, Madden's choice, then, Madden's uh, choice. Honestly, <laughs> in Madden, the only two positions I understand how to play are D line and O line. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't. But I can't do anything else. I just bring, yeah. I just bring like a, a linebacker. To like, the, to the that's D-line why I love playing. Yeah, yeah. And that's all I but do. my brother, my brother, literally, he would count the box. I don't know what that means, 
but he would count the box like he's literally like he's actually playing football and it would make me so mad <laughs> like any little mistake that i would do he'd be like all right you got uh you got five in the box yeah you rushing oh uh, shit you got seven yeah you playing prevent i'm gonna run it <laughs> he start calling audibles and then it doesn't matter who okay. he plays with he's getting the chargers playbook i don't know what's so special about the 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 sandy oh, yeah, no, some, some playbooks are fucking Cheat codes. He every time he's like, "No, nah, I ain't got my playbook. We gotta quit out." I'm because like, let me tell you, no, right. hey, let, let me tell you, let me tell you. Because in NCAA, there was a there was a foolproof. You could not stop this play. <laughs> it was a fullback dive. Five yards guaranteed. Every so time, every two really? plays, first down. Damn. That's <laughs> so, cheap. so I would always pick the Florida playbook. It was uh yeah the Florida playbook because they had that fullback dive play every single time with the Hurricanes. Just run a fullback dive. Fullback just, dive. Was your, was your brother punting on fourth down? Hell yeah. no. Yeah. He was? Yeah, yeah. What? Why? Because he, he plays the game the right Bro. way. Man, no. You're you going never, for that shit. You never punt or field goal. I mean, if he was Madden. close. Well, I'm faking it. If he was close, he would. But he would go for two a lot. He would go for two mm. a lot because he knew he could fucking score. You're always going for two. And, and he would, always going for it on and he would, he would he would punt on fourth down if he didn't have the right field position. Like if That's you were, crazy. If you were really? in his kind of... Um, like, kind of his te- like your, his territory. I don't know how it goes. Tw- his twenty. Yeah, somewhere in there. If you were close, he was gonna punt it. Damn. I'm telling Damn. you, he's playing the game the right way. He never lost. <laughs> <laughs> Him and my uncle used to go at it. I hate that not shit. Lose. I'm not playing this. Get away. He's from count. Me. I, when I tell you, I would hear him counting the box to himself next to me. I'm like, yo, <laughs> stop that <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Damn, calling audibles. The moment I saw him calling the audible, I was like, it's over. I don't know. I don't <laughs> no, that pisses me off. My younger brother does it all the damn time. Like, he did the whole Madden training camp, yeah, whatever the hell it is. A bunch of fucking boobers. I'm like, bro, just play the game. <laughs> Y'all bunch of boobers. You know, you know the people I used to hate because my brother was one of these <laughs> people? Like, Yo, I got to practice the game ball. before we play. Like, we get the game day of. He's like, I need like an hour to practice. No, no fire the game up <laughs> and, we play and let's play. Right, you right, one right, of us right, know right, how I'll to play. I'll give you that point because Johnny be pissing me off with that too. Yeah, let me learn the control. Like, <laughs> no. I remember we got DB, uh, DBFZ on release. I'm like, yo, you're trying to? He's like, nah, I gotta get in the lab first. That's what I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm not like uh, neither never, one of us have played this I just, game. But like, I, I, I understand their point. It's like you don't know what you're doing, so like, that's it, fun. I, I mean, it's fun, but it's also like their prob- their mentality going into the game is like they're honers. Like they, they, they see something and they just want to refine it. Fuck that. We both suck. Let's do this. Like, cause I, you, like know, you play from the heart. So like you, you you're just you're just going. You, you do you do so you 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 make plays based off of what feels like you're feeling absolutely. Off of it. You're not you're not doing it based off of that's anything. That's why 2K else. is so nice cuz nigga I'm just yeah. you just feel It's yourself. just oh you came here All right, I'm going there. All right, cool. Yep. Okay. It's on the fly. It's not it's not I'm at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, down. Said, "All right, we got him over Man. here. He ain't got no corner down deep. I'm going to make this dude run a whole fly route out there and I'm going to throw that motherfucker like 2K what? for us is just we what? pick a team with one person we like and we just 100% John Wall. John Wall last motherfucker. That's y'all. That is I, y'all. That was a Giannis cheek. I need my. Th- I go straight Giannis. I need my third best player to be somewhat you serviceable. <laughs> so when so because when y'all guy gets tired, he got to go to the bench. If we not playing with stamina no, we play, on, we, we, play no, with we always player. play with stamina off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. With the stamina. We, okay, usually, that's we usually play with stamina off because, just so we can play like. Yeah, yeah, but if, if, nah. if but if, it, it's it's more strategy just play when you play with the with stamina on. When the stamina is on, now you have to actually go pick a team because all right, I need somebody who off the bench can keep me in the game scoring wise and isn't going to like completely lose me this lead that my star made. I remember this motherfucker picked the Lakers, right? He picked uh, like the Lakers with Kobe and Shaq, and you were shutting Shaq down. And I was saying, I was like, bro, you got Kobe on the team. What the fuck are he you doing? He was not giving him the ball. And I was like, you got Dude, one of the just best. The Shaq to- was that, he, he wasn't he beating me or something? I had the Warriors, right? I think I had the all-time Warriors that he was beating no, me. No, you had the Spurs because you're like... No, you switched to the Spurs after I started using Kobe because you're like... Kawhi yeah, because Col- I was like, bro... Kawhi the Kobe stopper. I was watching this dude and I was like, bro... That, that, that was the... Uh, the best players to ever play and you're not using them. <laughs> like... Because, bro, I'm Oh, yeah, because I had David Robinson and Tim Duncan. Yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> but I know I start. I caught fire with Steph Curry against somebody. I can't remember which it was one it was. And I just start pulling up from like half court. And that well, there's the times when we would have Mirage pick up some snacks from. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'd be at oh, Ross. I'll get off work at like midnight. <laughs> but this <laughs> this specific time, we were up in his. We were up in your uh, like on the first floor. We were on the first floor this time. 
whatever this time was with the Steph Curry shit. Mm. But yeah, that used to be dope when uh, <laughs> Mirage would be getting off late. Yeah, hey, Mirage, product. get some gummy worms, bro. <laughs> you know, we're good. Midnight, just used to bang. Bro. Get some hot chips. That or Cardinal bro. Health grind, bro. Yeah. Was that Cardinal? That was Cardinal. Yeah. working like those six hour part time shifts. Get off at midnight, then I had to go seven eleven and pick all you bums up snacks yeah. and stuff. And we just hang out. <laughs> Like, yo, pull up, bro. I mean, we had nothing to do. I was yeah. like, you just want to go to the crib all anyway. All night. Hell. <laughs> yeah, back when we had energy. And no responsibilities. <laughs> no responsibilities. Yeah. Fucking nothing to do. Shit. Shit, you ask me, if I get off anywhere at midnight, I'm going straight home. I ain't going to go <laughs> pick up no Yo, snack. what's the next move? Nigga, my house. <laughs> Like, you're going to tell me to pick up snacks <laughs> at mid? No, that happened. Now I'm going to be like, yo, I can't eat past a certain time. <laughs> yeah, I, can't I can't eat anymore. right before bed. Especially <laughs> <some guns. laughs> that's how it be sometimes, man. Well, now, honestly, that's just how it is. Yeah. I can't eat past uh, 8 o'clock. It's, Otherwise, I, I fucking acid reflex. I, I literally feel, I feel like uncomfortable an old man. trying to go to bed if I eat after a certain time. Like, I can't sleep because my body is still trying to break the food down. And it's so distracting that I, I'm just up. So now I'm like, all right, well, fuck it. Then I'm not doing nothing. I hate that shit. I Getting old, shit. bro. Getting uh, old. It's cycle of life. All right, but we're going to wrap it up here. That's it. It's been cool. We out of here. <laughs>